Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do another scrapbook layout featuring the Wanda Papers, which is in this July-August catalogue. And not only am I going to feature the Wanda Papers, I'm also going to use the card making and the scrapbooking stamp sets from the same collection and a little bit of the mix-in paper, this uh, paprika design here. Normally when I do Cricut designs, I just have everything on the pages cut from the Cricut machine. Nothing else is required. But we're unable to have workshops at the moment. We're in quite tough lockdown. We can only travel five kilometers from home at the moment for essential needs, unless you have to go to work. And we can't have any events at all. So I've had to rethink my kits that for the workshops that were going ahead this month in August and make them into mail and make kits. And I thought as an added bonus, I would add some stamped images as well. So let's start putting these together. This piece here I have designed on the Cricut machine and I've got the little pie pieces already cut. I've attached the items in Design Space so that these ones particularly, the pattern flows the correct way so you won't have things upside down or sideways on the page. I've got pebble card stock and charcoal card stock and because I've got a mat, I've gutted out the middle for these as well. So I'll get working on these and put all these bits together. For this one, I've just decided to use some liquid glue. With the title, there are three layers because I wanted to make this nice and sturdy to adhere onto there. I wasn't originally going to put another layer on that, but I thought it would look good. And I'm just going to use the blue aqua liquid glue So I've got my mats on and I've assembled all of my title. Now I'm going to apply some foam tape just to give that a little bit more lift. You can see that I have stamped these in different colors and I've gone with a daytime, dusk and a nighttime sort of scene. And I've actually stamped them in sapphire, espresso, and intense black. And 
I've left them for a few days because I wanted to color them with the tri-blends over the top and our regular ink does take it okay as long as you don't work it too much and put too much on there just do one pass with the colors and you'll find that they don't bleed so much and just use very light pressure now you can see on these ones here that I've added some distressing on the edges and I've just used espresso ink and one of these little tools and gone around the edge of each of these areas and it's a little bit hard sometimes to get into the nooks and crannies of things like this but these little mini daubers work really really well to do that and I haven't re-inked it after going around the edges so it won't leave a big smear on there if I just angle it a little bit. And this gorgeous little stamp thing cut is actually from the Wanda Scrapbooking. So the items that have got the colored areas have thing cuts that go with them. So you can see we have one that matches this Always Say Yes to Adventure and one that matches the backpack. And this one here, I've used the image that it's meant for, which is this little landscape image, but I love the postage stamp feel of that. And that's going to be something that I will use again and again with other stamp sets. While I've got the inks out, there's another piece that I'm going to ink up. I've created a little strip to go down here using stamps from the card making, the Wanda card making set. So the signpost, the bike and the tent and repeated those as its own little embellishment. So I'm going to do the same thing and just go around the edges of these with espresso ink. Now a little sneak peek into something that's coming in the new core catalog which launches on the 1st of September are these fabulous white jelly roll pens and I'm going to add a couple of little dots or a few little dots to represent stars. The biggest tip I have for using these white jelly roll pens is to hardly apply any pressure at all. If you press too hard, you're going to get a stripy sort of a look. So really just touching it to the paper is all that you need to do to get the ink to flow. And then just set it aside to dry for a little bit so that you don't get any smudging. So I'm going to put the foam on these and then we'll get on with the right page. I'm just adding a little bit of shading to these tents with the ice grey marker and I'm also going to bring in the dull green blend just on the tent flaps to add a little touch of colour. To marry up and to bring the pattern papers in onto the right side that you can see in this pie dish type element and the title I've done a border strip to match it all in I'll just move everything to the side ready to adhere in a moment I've already adhered a quarter inch white strip down one edge across here and that's going to be my guide to butt everything up along here so I'll start sticking all of those down and it's very easy just to put these down the page now when I do a border like this I usually start at the top and then I'll put one on the bottom and then I will work my way into the middle
And then I'm going to attach the other quarter inch strip down the other side. So having a border panel like this with the same pattern papers brings in the continuity across the two pages while it still gives the semicircle design here the main design element of this layout. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of the photo mats and the other elements to this page. So I've tucked this little border strip that I stamped onto the right page under these two photo holders and that brings in some continuity here and then we will attach the remaining elements with some glue and some foam tape. I'm not going to put any adhesive on this section here because I know I want to put either journaling or a photo into there, but I want to bring these elements in so that they touch this one here and it gives a little bit of continuity. You can see the double page spread here, all finished and ready to go. I will put adhesive on this once I've stuck my journaling or my photo into this section here. I will put some still shots up at the end of the video so you get some close views of the little elements that are involved in this double page spread. I really like how this came together with the charcoal and then the pebble. It brings out the gray tones in the printed paper and is nice and restful when there are other bright elements with the paprika and the coloring on these layouts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I've done with this getaway layout and I hope to see you next time.